Here we are, September 2023, many months later since the release of Dying Light 2. These past few weeks have had a huge impact on Dying Light 2's future, and a major tonal shift in the conversation surrounding it has changed for the negative. With previous updates, players were looking forward to the exciting future, as Tekwin was nailing it with updates such as the Good Night Good Luck update, the Gut Feeling update, these were all simply incredible. I love them, despite having some issues when they first launched things were looking pretty good for dying light 2 over here and the community was very much in love with what tech one was doing here and then the tide started turning mostly negative reviews a subreddit on complete fire comments from angry players questioning tech one's recent actions it's all extremely negative so the big question is what the hell is going on here now for starters Tencent purchased Techland, and as Techland claims it will retain full creative control, press X the fucking doubt, Tencent is their primary shareholder. And I don't know about you, but anyone that's taken a business class before knows that this is, is highly unlikely, okay? But what really has the community on fire right now, all up there in those flames, is the announcement of Dying Light Points. And man, oh man, the debates behind this, the memes, they're going crazy. This right now should tell you exactly what the current state of the game looks like. It's okay though, we haven't crossed the barrier yet to uh, r slash total war. That's a whole nother mess, okay? So Dying Light Points are the in-game currency that you can purchase with real money, similar to how V-Bucks are for Fortnite or COD Points are for Call of Duty. We have Fortnite and we have Call of Duty, the modern day babysitters, okay? The overall response to this is as you would expect, not exactly exciting as companies have abused this in the past so often with predatory shops trying to capitalize your FOMO, trying to get you to spend more money it's a shit show, okay? It's not something to look forward to. The goal here is simple, more money. While Tech One claims that this is only going to be for cosmetics and bundles in the game files, it was data mined that legend level boosters may be purchasable. <laughs> Meaning that you can go take real life money and purchase yourself through the levels and the ranks and gain extra abilities. Shoot me. Now I do have to say, this is leaked. It may happen, it may not happen. If it does happen, I'm going to make an entire video dedicated dedicated to this and i'm going to enter my villain arc okay probably get me blacklisted but stop okay let's take a step back hold it, hold it. there are some exciting things that are going on on the community side of dying light 2 recently a team of modders they committed themselves to remaking the entire e3 demo using the developer tools this was a team that was set to recreate elysium and holy shit they actually did it the comparisons in here are absolutely incredible this has been in the works for a few months now i will link some videos down below in the description so that we can all keep informed i'll definitely be keeping my eye on this i'll be providing some updates regarding this project status over the next few months there's no release date yet but of course once it's out it'll be making its way to pc and possibly console we'll have to wait and stay tuned but now i do want to go ahead and turn the tide to tencent as they have a horrible history okay Objection! wait wh why am i here right now you have been escorted into the courtroom to stand trial for your actions against Tencent and Techland. The opposing side claims that your recent video was highly one-sided and failed to mention the benefits of Tencent. What? Aussie? Why are you here? What are you- Order, order, order. You will address me as your honor. Your Honor, I did mention some examples of Tencent with Path of Exile. That game had very little effect with microtransactions. However, when it came to quality of life improvements, they improved certain regions and prioritized them over the other. Objection. You cherry picked your examples. Noviex? You? Really? What is this? You played purely one side and did not discuss games such as Warframe and Don't Starve. Those two games had an incredible boost and effect because of Tencent's involvement. You also failed to mention the wide reach that these games will have. Therefore, you are a no-life, dirty clickbaiter for every video who looks like a discount hack-on that takes advantage of his fans for financial gain. You fear-mongered the entire community, and for what? Clicks? Hold it! 
What? Wide reach? What do you mean wide reach? This is a company that owns a major stake in Epic Games. If anything, partnering with them may result with future titles being exclusive to the platform. Take that! Also, you're lying, your honor. That's hearsay. I only clickbait when the views are low. Hold it! I'm his editor. It's true. Take that! Agreed. Please strike the second half of Novix's words from the record. That's hearsay. Take that! Thank you, your honor. Oni, while your claims and concerns are valid and you have public opinion to back up your viewpoint, it is only fair that you address the opposing side's arguments. Ugh, okay, fine. You see, one thing I failed to mention in my previous videos was the extra level of benefits that Tencent brought to some companies. When it comes to digital extremes, the developers behind Warframe and Tencent, Tencent had no significant impact on Warframe. There are examples of them making animations to celebrate the 10 year anniversary. And granted, it wasn't exactly lore friendly, but this is something that was added in and made for them and it wouldn't have been created otherwise. Warframe was also free to play, and microtransactions for cosmetics were in that game prior to selling, and not really much has changed since. They have actually retained most of their creative freedom and been allowed to operate independently, but one thing that did occur is that a Warframe for mobile is now being developed. This can go ahead and blow up the IP into something more. The wide reach here is actually insane, so Noviex is correct, the potential is incredible. Hold it! Remember me? Colossal Kiwi? You too? Is anyone else here? <laughs> Seriously? Oni, don't get me wrong, you've been doing exceptional things here, right? Look what you're doing for the community, it's good stuff, and I hate to get in the middle of this, but you are contractually obligated for a sponsored segment right now. Really? Now they're gonna call me a sellout? Yes, do it. Do it, you dirty sellout. Ugh, okay. Fine. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, one of the best vehicle combat games ever made. With over 2,000 different tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships, it makes for some really intense and dynamic PvP battles. As you can see, all of these vehicles right here, they're incredibly detailed modeled down to their individual components. It's so realistic. It's all playable on PC, Xbox Series X, S, PlayStation 5, and also last gen as well. On top of all of this, War Thunder has incredible graphics, everything detailed, in beautiful 4k and the sound design in here it's one of a kind and honestly i'm quite impressed by it and starting today by using my link down below in the description you can play war thunder for free the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made on pc playstation and also xbox if you use my link you will get a large bonus pack with multiple premium vehicles a premium account boosters and much more thank you so much to war thunder for sponsoring this video let's get back to it now was it worth it honestly yeah, it was. Yep, I told you he was a sellout. Dude, you're here too? Any Techlanders in here too while we're at it? I am, but uh, I'm just watching from the sidelines. Honestly, I just can't anymore. Kiwi, where have you been by the way? I actually work with creators now, helping them to grow and monetize their channels. If you want help growing your channel, check out my most recent community post. All right, enough plugging, back to it. Ah, okay, right, where was I? Tencent is, don't forget, don't starve. <laughs> I was getting there. So Noviex is right, and Don't Starve is actually probably the better example. You see, when the Don't Starve developers partnered up with Tencent back in 2015, 2016, it actually brought up amazing results, and they were eventually purchased by Tencent in 2021. Their priorities were set straight, and not much really changed with Don't Starve, community over content, and they never really lost their focus. Tencent was a major player in bringing Don't Starve and Don't Starve together to the Chinese market, and once that game was in the hands of of a Chinese audience, it actually blew up and had long-lasting beneficial effects for the developers, raising huge amounts of capital, and now they can continue to make Don't Starve even better while also focusing on other projects as well. Tencent actually had a severe positive impact with these developers on that particular project. Tencent also helped bring the game to mobile as a pocket edition that you can play on the go in various markets as well. As much as I hate to say it, they really did wonders for the indie developer here without having negative effects. What future projects may look like are extremely questionable, and whether or not they have a bigger hand in that will wait to be seen. Noviex, I understand your claims as well. This is a sticky situation that has numerous sides. The fact of the matter is, we are both right. We have something to look forward to if everything goes as planned. But we also have everything to lose. Like I said in my original video, 
Tencent will want to see profits quickly. Depending on how profitable a company or investment is will determine how involved their hand is. The best way for Tequan to assist in raising more capital for themselves and Tencent will be through extra bundles and microtransactions. That's why there's been a stronger push behind it in Dying Light 2. And we also cannot ignore Dying Light points. Hold it! Look at the facts. Tekken has publicly stated that Tencent had no effect on their decision. This was something that was long planned behind the scenes since release. There are leaks showcasing exactly that. The Tencent deal is just simply poor timing. You can even verify this as Tekken reached out to creators prior to the announcement of the Dying Light points. Take that! But you wanna know how I know that? You were one of the creators they reached out to. Ugh. Okay, it's true. I was told in confidence that Tencent actually had no say and no influence on this decision. It was entirely by Techland. Though you can agree that in the case of Dying Light Points, Tencent had no involvement. Yes. Take that! Exactly. I rest my case. Your Honor, unsubscribe to this liar. Hmm, Oni, one final word? Okay, at the end of the day, while Techland claims they will retain full creative vision, there are examples of other developers being in similar situations, but not being as lucky. Tencent will have final say, especially if their investment is not making them money. And now, Dying Light Points exist, and I fear what the future could become, and I think you do too. <sighs> I do, but only time will tell what the future holds. Well, that's enough. You both have made your point. It is now left up to the jury down below in the comments section to say their piece. Noviex, go back to, ugh, BTZ. Oni, you can proceed with your video or whatever. <sighs> Court is adjourned. Not gonna lie, no idea if people are gonna enjoy that section. If you did, drop a like and give me 500 dying light points, please. Side note, my criticism is aimed at those at the top calling the big shots, okay? Community managers, franchise directors, they're not to blame here, okay? They're the ones that also want to see dying light succeed further alongside all the developers on the front lines. This is aimed at the people that you are never gonna hear from, okay? But now I do want to go ahead and close this video out with some exciting things that Techland has done for the community, okay? Let's head over to the Pilgrim Outpost, all right? Techland went ahead and opened up a little feedback corner online where players in the community can go ahead, submit ideas to Techland, and actually vote on other ideas that you would like to see make it into the game. When it receives enough votes, it will move on into the approved section where developers will provide insight on whether or not it's possible to make it into Dying Light 2. Honestly, I love seeing stuff like this. I must praise Techwin where praise is due and this is a big giant w okay for extra context some of the requests on here are much needed items such as expert grappling key rebinding a text chat a gear loadout system but they also range to more in-depth and fun ideas such as customizable difficulties having more photo mode options and also having a companion alongside you i actually went on here and submitted an idea for vnc tower raids now, could you imagine something like that? Take a second, think about it. Destiny-like raids that are super hardcore, that offer up awesome endgame content that you can do alongside some of your buddies. You can go and raid different levels of the VNC tower, and it progressively gets harder and harder as you make it through each floor. Each floor could go ahead and give you some unique, awesome endgame loot. Make it a weekly activity that's difficult and challenging for players, and have it be something that's satisfying to them, players will just flood right back in. This game, while all these requests are awesome in here and much needed, this game desperately needs some end game content for people to revisit the game. And if they're coming back, you know what that means? They're gonna be spending money on some dying light points, okay? I think it's a win-win for everybody, Techland. I'm sorry, I just had to do it at least once. Anyways, head to the Pilgrim Outpost, submit your ideas, tell them you want raids. I'll put it down below in the pinned comment right above the sponsored link, okay? And do you know what the sponsor of this video is? Let me remind you, okay? Once again, thank you so much to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Check it out on PC, PlayStation, and also Xbox. If you use my link down below, you'll get a free bonus pack with premium content such as vehicles and account boosters and a lot more goodies. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.